Hello everyone, welcome to another solo episode by Cloda from Girl Group of Agency Life Podcast. Today is all about agency tips and strategies to survive and thrive in challenging <clears throat> times. But I'll have a little bit of a, a cough. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Agency Life. My name is Cloda, I'm from the Grower Group, I'm a business coach and consultant for digital marketing agencies. If you want to find out more about what we do, you can head on over to growitgroup.com. In today's episode of Agency Life, I'm talking about agency tips and strategies to survive and thrive in challenging times. Heard a great line this week um, from a uh, personal trainer, fitness coach that I follow. And he said, we are living in creative times. And if anyone knows me, I'm, I do like to be positive and try and be optimistic. And I know we're going to go uh, through a challenging time again. Some of us have been here before, some of us a few times. Um, and some of us have not. This might be your first time as a business owner that you're heading into a, a challenging and a creative time is what we're frame it for the moment it's time to keep calm and focus on what is within your control and i just want you to let you know that you are not alone we are all in this together i know you've heard that on the news but i genuinely mean that when i say the digital marketing community uh, digital agency community we are all in this together every day is going to be different when times are tough but if you get up each day and make a list of what is within your control that day um, and please 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 take care of yourself first think of your own oxygen mask as they say on the plane so let's go through some of these things that I want to um, help you with on um, tips and strategies. Lots of um, information flying around and just hopefully this is another tool or um, you can just listen to this and watch the YouTube video and there's some links uh, will be shared in the notes as well to help you with this. So first of all, meet with your accountant and go through your cash flow. Have you got enough um, to meet the outgoings that you have in the business. Definitely sit down with your sales team or if that's you, go through the forecasting of what is realistic. Really drill into what is actually going to come in. Next step is to speak to your bank and your landlord, like actually have a conversation with them about what's um, available to you. Um, maybe to talk to your landlord about your rent. Do you pay every quarter? Could they be open to helping you? Having a conversation with your bank and your landlord is uh, definitely something to prioritize at the very early stage. You know, open the dialogue and just uh, get creative about what you can do together. Next is call all of your clients. Speak to every single one of your clients from a business owner to a business owner. As the owner of the business, how are they? What do they need? There are things that you do in your agency that really could help them. Simple things like they might not have used Slack in their business before. Maybe they only use Slack to talk to you, but they need help setting up Slack, setting up Zoom. They've gone into work from home kind of quite quickly and they, they weren't prepared for it. Arrange to have a weekly check-in with them and see how they are go getting on. Um, perhaps you could do a virtual training or workshops. You could even arrange a mastermind group for a collection of your clients, um, maybe the CEOs or the marketing uh, directors, and pull them together into a weekly mastermind to get them through together, like go through this together with them um, and navigate them through these tough times. Now, this could be a difficult one. What if they are deciding to bring their marketing in-house? Um, be prepared. You know, we, we know that some people are going to make some tough decisions because it's um, out of their control. But get ready for that and pre pre present a 90-day transition. Maybe there's a handover package. Maybe it's like um, a, re a reduced rate of whatever they were spending on the marketing. Maybe half it and go, right, let's help you through this. Let's help you with the playbook, help you set up the marketing team. Um, look at the recruitment they might be hiring internally so are they moving somebody from one team to another what is the job description of that person and um, are they up for it you know they have the right 
person in that internal team to move over? Do they have all the skills? So brace yourself for the conversations, but then start to think creatively and go, well, let us help you with that. Um, okay, you've got to do this, but let us help you over the next 90 days. And who knows, over the next 90 days, things could change and you could be back in there as well. So I think the big thing here is with your clients is just get ready for the conversations that are going to be had try to keep your calm and um, don't panic keep the dialogue open keep the bridge open in any way possible um because we will get through this and there will be another side and it, the worst thing you can do is is just burn the bridges you know not right now okay next you've got to look at your team and your culture so you've reviewed the numbers and your forecasting now you need to review the number of people on your team is it time to make some tough decisions not too quickly not too slowly now if this is a way to think about could you go into a four-day week or a three-day week and ask your team to accept reduced pay is that something you're able to do with the employment laws or so instead of firing one person or letting them go having a look at the team together and um, if you are having the tough decision to let someone go how can you support them to find different work uh, different income there are actually new opportunities popping up every day and i just know here in ireland one of the things that has been advertised by the hsc is a contact tracer for um what's happening um with the coronavirus where there's they're looking for people to contact and, and and they need people in the um the health system so ter terrible times i know that but there are also other jobs ahead so if you are letting somebody go sitting down and going okay what can they do could they join um a freelance um app because there'll be probably a lot of gig jobs coming up um could they join we have we know um work very closely with on the bench um, we also work with verblio uh, so there are other options there for your team so making that tough call, but also thinking about how could you have them, what else could be out there for them to do. Brainstorm ideas with your leadership team or with the whole team when it comes to how are you going to get through these tough times together. Now, last week's episode was about setting up your team for working remote, um, which you, you can go and check into that. It's also a video and there's also a checklist. So one of the things now is to have a daily check-in with your team. How are they going? How is the previous day what's going on in their personal lives how's everyone feeling you know um, get people on your team to buddy up with each other so that um, they can have that person to check in with during the day and um, they can have a virtual coffee in the afternoon with uh, another person in the agency now meet with everyone in your agency individually have a virtual coffee talk to them what are they concerned about what ideas do they have so meet with them one-on-one -on -one. so now's the time to really help your team help your culture of the team um you know making sure that they are uh, perhaps like connected to each other through obviously you've got slack and zoom but also they've got a buddy system now also look at the end of the week you know how perhaps you could send them maybe it's a pizza you do uber eats vouchers and get them to order pizzas to come to the house do a virtual meetup on a friday maybe it's drinks or maybe it's a coffee or maybe it's pizza jerry whatever it is but check in on the friday try and keep the camaraderie and everything that you've built in your agency going but doing it virtually and um, get them to maybe have some ideas maybe they want to play some online games together as a team uh, culture now is more and more important in your agency to foster it and keep the morale uh, boosted and going well next thing for you is to look at daily client check-ins for your team so now your team even more than ever the clients that are staying on the clients maybe um they're going through challenging times again so make sure your account manager your team is checking in each day what happened yesterday have, have things changed what's coming ahead for the next day and um, both work and at home you know get personal we're all at home now we're all working at home and um you know sometimes it's it, it can be quite challenging if there's the whole family is at home because the kids are there too so start to really speak to your clients and um, you know as an account manager if you're working in an agency get your team to speak to your clients and the people as people and um, any tips that you can share about 
how to work from home, how to work when everyone's working from home, anything like that. And yeah, daily check-in either on Slack or a quick phone call. Um, maybe start using WhatsApp um, to communicate. You could leave little voice messages like, hey, how's it going? What's happening today? How can I help you? And then get on and, and get the work done as, as planned. Once everything settles down, you've got it all kind of, you know, this is the new norm, which is probably going to be, you know, in the next week or so. This is going out the um, 20th of March. So the new norm is now you've got to look at your own internal work. Now is the time to maybe allocate half a day a week or one day a week to looking at your own business, your own website perhaps tidying up your website, reviewing your keywords, looking at the back end of your website, the files and images, how old, if you're sitting on a portal, how old is that portal? Is it time to tidy it up? Look at your own marketing, keep being present. Now is not the time to hide, now is the time to be present. What can you post? You've listened to all your clients, so you know what they're focusing on and you can support them with content that um, is in line with the conversations you've had with your clients. Remember, this too will pass. What will your prospects and clients need after the storm is over? Can you organize webinars? Um, what can you do to stay in, in, in front of them? Now is not the time to sell and pressure and scare tactics. Now is the time to support your clients and your prospects as we all go through this together. Next, what you can do is organize. Get organized, do a software audit. I've put a template for a software audit in the notes. So it's going through all of the software that you use in the business and getting the whole team to do that too. Sometimes you'll find in an agency, a member of your team is using an app and they might be paying for it on their phone or maybe you have a lot of apps that you're paying for that are just automatically going out on your credit cards that you don't need anymore. So now's the time to really button down and look at all the software that you've been buying and the $11 here and the $5 there, they all add up. So take the template, get the whole team to work on it and um, refresh all of the software that you need. And perhaps it's time to replace software, something there might be um, a better deal out there right now. There's, I've seen some great offers going around on, on different types of software at the moment. Time to take avail of that. Update your agency playbook, all of the processes and procedures you have in your business, spending time on that um, you know, while things are quieter or while things are changing, it's a really, really good thing to do. Tidy up the Dropbox folders and the Google Drive, um, Drive files and all the folders and everything that's all over the place. It's time to really sort that out and clean it all out and um, get organized. Next is to look at your internal training. Now, if you don't have one already, review your training competency plan for the team. I've got a link again, um, there's a template in the notes for that. And this is a way you can find out what do people want to focus on? Perhaps they've got certifications that are out of date. Uh, what are they planning to you know, um, add to their, I guess, their, their skill set? Do they want to learn about conversational marketing? Um, they want to add more in-depth email marketing knowledge into their um, their skills make a plan to perhaps learn together maybe friday afternoons before the pizzas and the, maybe the virtual drinks kick in you could do a friday afternoon team training maybe focus on one um, new certification every two weeks or once a month or something like that like think about what is everyone going to work on um, together Another one is create a virtual book club uh, to read and review um, and, and what the strategies in the book could be um, implemented in your agency, what the impact of that would be. Each person can choose a different book. Maybe they're going to read it over a course of a month and once a week somebody's going to present on the ideas and what maybe a book summary. They could do that. They could do that before. Maybe it's that Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, you're going to wrap up the week, get all the reports and the check-ins out to the clients, make sure everything's done. And then in the afternoon, you could do the book club presentation and start to do some training and come together as a team. Now, you're listening to this podcast, and I'm extremely biased about this. If you don't have a podcast for your agency, now is the time to start planning or even get started on having a podcast. The, connecting with your audience in this particular way and you know, I can talk for hours about how it's changed both the business and my life. Um, having the podcast has been a, an absolute blessing, really, as I sit here right now, and I've been working from home for three years. So if you're not 
ready to do it now obviously not straight away but start to make the plans for it if you want to learn more you can head on over to i've uh, got a facebook group called revcasters and in there you can learn about how to create a podcast for your business you will also connect with both people who are starting out and really experienced podcasters as well so any questions that you have so yeah shameless plug don't care <laughs> check it out but I definitely highly highly recommend start to think about getting your podcast up um, and, and, and ready for after the storm the agency community is just phenomenal I've seen the most incredible posts conversations content support documentation coming out for the communities like there's the HubSpot solutions partner community the digital marketer community agency collective in the UK incredible coaches and consultants who are posting really valuable information online we have a Facebook uh, group called the grow it circle you can hop in there and ask any questions about how are you going to run your business please don't do any of this on your own please talk things through with your family your friends mentor business coach the community anyone just do not bottle all of this up it's not something you need to go through on your own we have an com incredible community here and in, in me too just reach out to me anytime if you have any questions i'm happy to talk through anything that you need a hand with and the big one is breathe this too will pass please take care of yourself and your mental health i'm all going to come through this together if you've got any more tips or advice or strategies that I haven't mentioned here and you think would be valuable, please send me an email at cloda at growagroup.com or if you need a hand with anything, just drop me a line. Like I said, you've heard it all before. We're all in this together. But in the agency community, we absolutely mean that. So best of luck. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave us a review if you're listening on iTunes. <laughs> and have a great, great day. We'll see you on the other side. Take care.